Hi everybody, welcome back to class. What we're going to be doing today is continuing with our lesson on measurements. Uh, the last lesson that you had in my class would have been on the SI units and the SI prefixes. Uh, we were looking at uh, the prefixes like mega, giga, micro, milli, kilo, centi, all of those different prefixes and what they mean. Today we're going to be going into the actual measurements and we're looking at where the prefixes or just the base units are used and how to use and read the measuring devices that go along with these measurements. And as you can see, we're looking at starting at the main component of matter. And the three things we're going to be looking at in this note section is going to be mass, volume, and length. The first one up is going to be length. And you've seen length before in your math classes, most likely is where you've used it. You might have used it in other science classes, uh, but where you're using rulers. Um, and here we will be using rulers, we will be using meter sticks, um, and we're going to be measuring everything in the metric units. You're used to seeing units in inches and in feet and yards. It's going to change now into our metric system, and the base unit is going to be the meter. So for length, the base unit is the meter, or meter down here. And me length is just a measurement of distance. How far is it from point A to point B? That's all length is. In this class, the most common ones you're going to see are millimeters, centimeters, meters, and kilometers. But any of the SI prefixes can be added uh, to make another length. So you can have a megameter. You can have a hectometer. And you should know what each one of those prefixes mean. So if you have a, let's say, hectometer, it means you have 100 meters. If you have a kilometer, it means you have 1,000 meters. If you have a centimeter, it means you have 0 0.01, whoops, sorry, I don't need that, of a meter. And you can see, uh, what I have here is just to show you, when you use millimeters, you're using things for really small lengths or really small distances. Uh, the, a millimeter is about the width of a credit card, so you're measuring really small things with that. Centimeters can be small to medium length things, uh, like the length of a, the desks uh, in class here. It could be the length of your table at home. You can use centimeters or meters. It depends on you and depends on what you're trying to measure. And then when we get to kilometers, we're talking really large lengths. We're talking long distances. You'll use kilometers if you were trying to fi uh, figure out how far it is from, let's say, Everett to Bedford. Now, the biggest thing with length is being able to read a meter stick. And sometimes this can get confusing to people. With a meter stick, what we have are all these little tick marks. Here, 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 here. And you have to understand what each one means. This red line right on the one just means one centimeter. If we don't make it to that line, it means we don't have one centimeter. And then each one of these little lines in between the zero and the one are 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9. So those are your millimeter marks, meaning that could also mean one millimeter, two millimeter, three millimeter, four, uh, let's do that in a different color actually. Instead of having that, we'll do for millimeters, let's go with orange. So that could be one millimeter, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So those are your millimeters. And then point 0.1.0 point or 10 millimeters would be here at your one. But whenever you're reading the meter stick, you can see those little tick marks. You're sure of those. Right here at... 0.9, you are sure that there is a mark there. You are positive. You are certain that there is going to be a measurement there. Where we don't 
get that guarantee where we aren't sure anymore falls in between. So we're looking from here to here. Any place in between. What we have in this little area here is our uncertain digit. This is your guesstimation point where you kind of have to figure out where something is closer to one than the other. And this is up for interpretation sometimes, but it should be pretty close. You've got to give it your best educated guess here. And your uncertain digits go from 0.01 to 0.09 between each one of your millimeter marks. So each one of these has a guesstimation. It's easier once you start to see it. So let's say over here for this red line. This red line starts here at zero, and it goes right to here. So it falls in between. We have 0.1. Oh, let's get another color that we can see better, maybe. We'll do a little zooming in here. So for this mark here, we have 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4. We are certain that the measurement went past 2. We are certain it went past 0 0.1. We're certain it went past 0 0.2. We're certain it went past 0 0.3, which is why in both of these measurements, 2.3, 2.3 is there. Where we're unsure is where this line ends, in between here. You could say it looks halfway. So if you said 2.35 centimeters, you would be correct. You could say, I think it's a little bit farther, it's closer to the 0.3 than it is to 0.4. So that's why you could have 2.34 centimeters. You could say it's a little over halfway maybe, especially whenever we're not zoomed in. 2.36 centimeters could be your answer. That last digit here is your uncertain digit. That's the one you're guesstimating at. You have to take your best guess at it, but it is open for a little bit of interpretation. So if any of those three answers could be correct here, but you have to make sure you have all the other numbers correct. You know you have to have the two you have to have the 0.3 because it goes past the 0.3. It does not go past a 0.4 though, so we can't have 2.4. The other thing is make sure that you have two parts for your measurement. You have your number and you have your unit. So that's how you measure length and that's how we're going to be using length in this class. So here are some examples. Looking at this, we have to read right where the edge of that tick mark is. These are all going to be measured in centimeters here. So we're measuring this in centimeters. And I will say in the directions what unit to have. So we know this is one centimeter, two centimeter. We don't make it to the three centimeter. So we know for sure two point something. 2 because we go past to 2. 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3. We go past the 0 0.2, but we don't go past the 0 0.3. So we know 2.2 .2 is in our answer. So now we're in our guesstimation spot. Well, when we're looking at this, it looks pretty close to the 0 0.2, so it's going to probably be under 0.5. So um, we're going to look at this and we're going to guess, I would guess somewhere between 2.21 centimeters. So we could say up to 2.23 centimeters. It's probably closer to about 2.2 in there, but I would give it a good range of 2.21 to 2.23. If it was really close to that line, just barely past that, just barely past that 0.2, we're probably going to be looking at 2.21 to 2.22. And you can narrow down your guesstimation when it's closer to those lines. 
let's look at another example here. So over here's your one, and we're gonna use a different color here. Let's go with green. So here's our one, it doesn't even make it there. So we don't have a one, so our final answer is gonna have point something. It's gonna have point something. Well, this is point one, point two, point three, point four, point five. So it makes it past the point five, but it does not get past a point six. So point five, now we have to guesstimate again. Now we're gonna have to do our guesstimation again. The guesstimation in here is gonna be somewhere around 0.5, I'm looking at a 0.53 to 0.54 centimeters, centimeters. Do not forget your units. When we're zoomed in, it's easier. When we're zoomed out, it's a little harder. But I'm going to go with anywhere between 0.53 and 0.54 here. We could, I, I would accept, we'll go with anywhere 0.52 centimeters to 0.54 centimeters. I would give you a 0.52 there. So that's about how we're going to be reading the uh, metric rulers in the meter sticks. And you're going to have to get some practice with this to get better with this over time. If you have any questions with this, please feel free to ask me. Please feel free to email me. Thank you, everybody. And I hope you have a wonderful day.